Good evening and welcome to the dedicated field stream for the World Athletics Championships. We are showing you the men's hammer this afternoon or this evening, depending on where you're tuning in from. It could be a wonderful final, 12 men down there getting themselves warmed up. It is hot here in Budapest. We had thunderstorms yesterday morning that caused the delay of an hour to the morning session. It cleared up in time for these men to do their qualification groups, but it is back to boiling hot. Luckily, the shade is just creeping across the National Athletics Arena here in Hungary, so the men shouldn't have it so hard this morning. But yesterday, this is how the top four athletes qualified for the final. This is Volchit Nowitzki, the world number one, that's denoted there by that green bib he's wearing. He needed just the one throw to qualify from Group A. Automatic qualifying was set at 77 centimetres. Nowitzki managed to launch his hammer out to 78 metres and four centimetres. Very much like business as usual from the big pole, the Olympic champion, the European champion, trying to become the world champion here this evening in Budapest. Next up was Bent Halas, one of the few genuine medal hopes for the host nation for Hungary. He was in Group A as well. Chucked his hammer all the way out to 78 metres, 13 centimetres, with his opening round effort as well. It's just what you want to do in these field finals, get your one and done. Halas looking very at home here in the Hungarian capital and in this brand new stadium, that lovely circle, heel towing straight across circle launching his implement out to absolute perfection thanks the crowd I think it's going to be a good number of the supporters returning from yesterday morning to see Ben Salas and his effort here this evening the athlete that qualified second out of all the athletes here in group A and group B was Mikhailo Kokkan of the Ukraine He's actually undefeated this season Kokkan one of a couple of men to have beaten the world number one Volchuk Nowitzki this season and looking very much at home on this global stage in the qualification round. He was the athlete in Group B that hit the furthest mark, 78 metres 47 with his second round effort. To also give him that automatic qualifying distance. The top of the pile in terms of qualification yesterday was this man, Ethan Katzberg, at the age of 21, so young for a heavy thrower launched his implement out to 81 meters 18. What a throw from the young man. He added two meters to the Canadian record that stood for the last 15 years and he couldn't have looked cooler doing it. He did celebrate after that, I promise. But Ethan Katzberg, what an opportunity this Canadian has this evening. Here is a look at all 12 men that will be taking part this evening. This is the throwing order. Pavel Fidek will go first. He's been dominant in this event. Five consecutive world titles. Hasn't lost a world championship since 2011, but he's not having the iconic season he has had in other years, so it could be a struggle perhaps for Pavel Fidek, particularly when you put an Ethan Katzberg in that upward trajectory. He's been on, particularly in the last 24 hours. Absolutely phenomenal effort from Ethan Katzberg yesterday, but he's got to try and reproduce that today. Here's a look at the remote control car that's going to go out and collect the men's implements after they've been thrown. I don't think it's piloted by Yoohoo, the mascot. That is just a cuddly toy. There will be someone with a proper implement further down the infield directing that around. These men will be very, very familiar with each other where they competed against each other all year. Many of these men for years and years, particularly Volchit Nowitzki and Pavel Fidek, the two Polish athletes you can see there with white tops and red shorts. And they've just been put into their introduction order. And we'll take you through each athlete one by one. It's been a lovely atmosphere here so far in Budapest. The stadium seats 35,000 people and it's, it's really quite full. Some of the sunny sections have been very hot. You can see people migrating up until the infield and sorry up into the stands to get escape that heat but there are a lot of people here that world lead with Volchit Nowitzki 81 92 
did stand the test of Ethan Katzberg's efforts yesterday. Will it survive this final as well? Or could it take a new world lead to take this global title? We'll get some live entertain entertainment from these three gentlemen. They're down on the infield. They're going to provide the soundtrack for the introduction of these 12 men. So the medals just hung out there, ready for the men to have a look at, as if they didn't know what was on, on the line here today, what was at stake. There are the gold, silver and bronze waiting to be collected by three of these men. As the band introduces these men, I'll give you a bit of a rundown of the lineup as well. Adam Keaton from Canada is our first athlete. He was the last man into this final, but he's made it. And here in his first global final, Mikkel Andersakis of Greece, the first of two Greek athletes here in the top 12, the six time national champion. Gabriel Kerr of Chile. So next up to be introduced, his first trip into a global final through 75 metres, 10 centimetres yesterday. Daniel Hart was eighth in Eugene last time round. He certainly capable of a little bit more. One of the few men to have thrown over 80 metres with a personal best mark. Twice the NACAC, under 23 champion for Diego Del Real, the national record holder for Mexico with 78-68. Next up, quite wisely keeping his eyes fest on, it's hot down there. Ivan Henriksen, he picked up a bronze last year in Eugene, but he needed all three throws to qualify here for this final. And didn't hit the automatic qualifying mark. Mikhail Kokhandid, though, we just saw a replay of his qualifying effort. Took his hammer all the way out to the second best mark of the day yesterday but this man qualified number one added that two meters to the national record he came in perhaps hoping he could sneak onto the podium but how did Ethan Katzberg sleep last night knowing he could have a chance at gold here today he's going to face up against this man the five-time world champion Pavel Fidek his form has been slightly questionable this season very slow start to his campaign but he's building momentum as the season develops Rudy Winkler is next to be introduced to be bumped down to third in the world list by Ethan Katzberg's efforts yesterday. He'd be looking to improve on his sixth place in Eugene last year. Volchik Novitsky up next, the reigning Olympic champion, the reigning European champion, but he needs this world title to complete the set and have the perfect CV. And the final athlete to be introduced, third in qualification, third in Doha in 2019, fifth last year. And one of the few genuine medal hopes here for Hungary, and that is why we've got the roar of the crowd. They're going to be behind, behind Fence Hallers with every effort this evening here in Budapest. The crowd loving every second of that. These men have been down on the infield doing their warm-up throws. Everything looked like it went to plan, no drama down there. But time for the real business now. Six rounds available to eight of these athletes. All 12 will get three throws. We'll whittle it down to eight. And then from there, we will look for our podium. Who is going to take that gold, silver and bronze title of world champion? Could it be Pavel Fajda? He's done it the last five editions of this championship. Could Volchuk Nowitzki finally stand on top of a world championship podium? What about Ethan Katzberg? Is he a real deal? Is he, young pretend is he the young pretender? 
over the next hour or so, we will find out. Pavel Fidek is the athlete to open proceedings here in this men's hammer final. I wonder what was going through uh, Pavel Fidek's mind as he watched that band introduce and uh, accompany the int athlete introduction. Because Pavel Fidek appeared on a rap song this year. It was a uh, very entertaining match. Just have a look at the North Americans here. It was a uh, one, two, three for North America. On the women's side last year, Brooke Anderson, Cameron Rogers, Janne Kasanavoid, Daniel Hart, Ethan Katzberg. We've been looking to break the European dominance, European athletes in the top five positions last time out. So here is Pavel Fidek. You've got a spare screen if you've got a spare implement with you as you watch along with this stream. Do have a Google uh, for that rap song from Pavel Fidek. It was with Ivan and Pedja special track they recorded for the Camilla Skilmovska Memorial. Skilmovska said Ivan and Pedro were her favourite artists. So in honour of that, Videk produced a rap record to accompany the Celestia Diamond League. And it's really quite good. I don't know any of the lyrics. I don't speak enough Polish. OK, Videk like that. First round effort, yes! Oh, wow. I've been wondering, which Pavel Fidek are we going to get this week? I was incredibly encouraged yesterday with his automatic qualification in just one throw. But Pavel Fidek, he never looks like he enjoys the qualification rounds early in the morning. He always looks a little bit like he'd rather still be in bed. But look at that. What a way to start the competition. That gold bib there indicating he is the defending champion. And his very first effort has been measured at exactly 80 metres. That is a season's best for Pavel Fidek. That's better than he opened the competition in Eugene a year ago. Took him all the way till round three to warm up last year. This time straight out with an 80 metre throw. What kind of pressure will that put on the other athletes? They will be aware of that mark. They'll know the target that's out there. Right, Gabriel Kerr, what <laughs> an act to follow. Fidek going all the way out to 80 metres. Kerr of Chile. Season's best of 77.06. That's a good effort from the Chilean. Being, uh, just over halfway between 70 and 80, I would say. Kerr with a decent start. Perhaps a, a bit off balance as he released the hammer there. See if momentum pulling his torso, pulling a centre of gravity over outside of the circle there. Could be a little bit more to come for Kerr, but 75.99. Absolutely brilliant start. It's uh, further than he threw yesterday, so looking good. First of the Canadians up next. Adam Keenan gave that absolutely everything. It was again round about halfway in between the 70 and 80 meter mark. Adam Keenan should be walking away pretty satisfied with that opening effort. Gabriel Kerr, 75.99. Adam Keenan has been measured at. 74 meters 49. Top three at the moment. Three athletes gone and they've stayed in their throwing order on the leading board. Next up, Rudy Winkler of the United States. The United States have just announced a new initiative for the US Operation Hammer Sweep. A load of funding directed at the male and female hammer throwers the hope of dominating the global podiums in the next few years. That halfway there with the women already, Brooke Anderson, Janik of Sanavoid were on their pod respective podium last year on the women's side. Oh, Vinkler and Daniel Hart, they have got the, definitely got the potential. Vinkler just giving it a little bit too much here, perhaps in the first round. Trying harder doesn't always give you a longer distance, and Vinkler, unfortunately, his technique just falling apart there, I think under the effort. Adrenaline is very hard to control in the competition arena and uh, he doesn't look too bothered by that. A wry smile 
I think you can get a, you can still feel good about a foul throw there, Ben Kerr. I think a thumbs up, perhaps to his coaching team in the stand is going to say uh, that was okay. There were some good aspects of that throw. I know what I've got to work on. The cheering started in the crowd, and that's because Spencer Hallers has entered the circle. Bronze back in 2019 in Doha. He was fifth in Eugene, and then moved on to come third at the European Championships in Munich on the men's side still very much a European man's game so that third in Munich is very good and that is a fantastic throw from Ben Tallas wow 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 it was a new personal best to take that bronze in Munich last year 80-92 but what a way to take the pressure off yourself I think Ben Tallas has gone further than Pavel Fidet there with his opening effort sometimes these field competitions take a bit of time for the tension to build for the momentum to arrive Halas off oh, was very, very close to fouling that. And it was given the white flag by the officials in the arena. And Halas knew it was good. Felt fantastic to him. Season, season's best for Bent Halas. 80 metres, 82, 10 centimetres below his lifetime best. And a lead in round one of the men's hammer final by some 82 metres. That is a big, big time throw from Ben Tallas. OK, Volchit Nowitzki, your move. There's been no easing into this competition at all. Two men over 80 metres already. And the Olympic champion muster here with his first round effort. Nowitzki very, very consistent. Oh, he's roaring it down the field. It's close to 80 metres. But it's not going to beat Fidak and Halas quite yet, not here in round one. Volchik Nowitzki, another athlete that typically builds his momentum through the competition. He usually takes a few throws to find his groove. That is OK. There's a wonderful atmosphere here at the evening session in day two at the 19th edition of the World Athletics Championships. And sometimes you ease your way into these championships. The crowd isn't as big. The performances aren't as good. That's certainly not been the case here this year. And it's definitely not the case in this men's hammer competition. 79-14, good start for Nowitzki. He'll know he needs to find more, but at least he's got his campaign off to a good start. Daniel Hart releasing his javelin, his uh, hammer around about 78 and a half perhaps maybe not that far in the upper half is that sector between 70 and 80 meters imagine that an eighth place finish for Daniel Park last year they had three Americans in the final Winkler, Park and Alex Young the two on show here today Hard, really Winkler, but they've both been keen to finish much higher than seventh and eighth, sixth and eighth that they achieved last year. 76 metres, seven centimetres for Hart for his opening round effort. Okay, and Asakis up next for Greece. Tentative effort perhaps from Andersakis. It's a good throw though. Free Kathy made a bit of a meal out of it yesterday in qualification. It was a foul in the first round, 73 43 in the second. Finally, 75 76 in the closing stages to put himself up in this top 12. Already looks like it could be better from Andersakis. Just looked a tiny bit controlled there for me for the Greek athlete. Maybe a bit of a nerve settler. 74, 62, so not quite the 75 he threw yesterday. He's got a mark on the board. And he sits in sixth place at the moment. Oh, Ben Salas. It'll be a nervous wait for him to see if anyone can go ahead of him here in round one. Looking to the likes of uh, perhaps Ethan Katzberg. Katzbo, the Canadian, throwing last. It's going to be pretty dramatic as we go through these first three rounds. We'll then reshuffle the throwing order based 
on the top eight positions when we go into those final three rounds. Ben Salas, what a moment, what a pressure throw he's delivered here in the opening round to go into the lead. His deep breaths, he will just be gathering himself. So around about 12, 15 minutes, I think, for the, for the full round of throwers, maybe a tiny bit longer. Ben Salas has got to keep his cool, keep his composure. Ivan Henriksen is due to throw next. Still measuring. He's got a measuring implement out there, perhaps double checking the 74-62 they've awarded to Mikhail Antisakis. Ethan Katzberg trying to keep his composure, probably pretty hard when you've got a camera jammed in your face. Chip Nowitzki was pretty open to say he enjoys his rivalry with his Polish teammate, Pavel Fajdek, it says. It's great to have two athletes from the same nation performing so well. As long as we're both on the podium, I'm happy. I don't mind about the order. Well, I'm not sure that's going to be entirely true for Wojciech Nowitzki. I'm sure he'd rather be at the top of the podium, but it's great to see that nod to his teammate and how special their rivalry has been for this event and for the sport. Ivan Hen Henriksen next up to throw brilliant silver behind Wojciech Nowitzki in Tokyo and the bronze behind both of the Polish athletes last time round in Eugene but Ivan Henriksen is a, a bit out of sorts this season hasn't looked as relaxed, as comfortable, as fluent as he did during the 2022 season another athlete that had to work hard yesterday for qualification, his best throw of 75-37 coming all the way in the third round And not looking too amused here with his first round effort. 75-85 for Henriksen, so that's better than he threw yesterday. We can keep that trajectory going as we move through the competition. Henriksen would be happy. He's in sixth place at the moment. Remember, just the top eight get to go through to the final three rounds. Michaela Kakan up next. I mentioned it. Michaela Kotkan and Ethan Katzberg, I think. And apologies, Rudy, Rudy Winkler was the other athlete, the only other athlete to have beaten Wojciech Nowitzki this season. Michaela Kotkan managed that just down the road in Sakes for Hava, about 60 km, kilometres west of where we are here. It was at the July Istvan Memorial on the 18th of July. It's the same venue where Michaela Kotkan threw his personal best. So Hungary has been kind to Michaela Kokan and was pretty good yesterday as well. And I think, unfortunately, that hammer has gone straight into the cage for Kokan. A bit out of sorts there with his opening effort. It did take him a couple of throws to find his groove yesterday as well. 76-59 in the opening round and then 78 in the second. That's just releasing the hammer a tiny bit late there. Michaela Kokan. Going to have to lower the netting here. We'll have a slight delay as they retrieve Michaela Kokan's hammer. So Kokan joins Rudy Winkler with a foul here in the opening round. Just Diego Del Real and Ethan Katzberg left to throw in round one. Del Real making his way into the circle. You know exactly where he wants to position his start point on the far side of the circle. We'll have done this thousands and thousands of times. A few preliminary swings. And take that hammer round and round and round to the perfect point of release, hopefully. So just over. 70 meter mark for Diego Del Real there. Massaging his shoulder, his elbow there. That's a, that's dealing with a little bit of fatigue. That qualification was only yesterday.
72 metres, 39 for Del Real in his first round play. Ethan Katzberg steps in to the circle, seven feet in, di in diameter. These men are very, very tall. It's not a massive circle for them. And they use every inch of it to build momentum. Ethan Katzberg just one throw yesterday, a new national record. What can he do here in his opening effort? Oh, it's going to be another throw over 80 metres. Joining Ben Tallis and Pavel Fidek in bettering that mark in the very opening round. It's not as far as he threw yesterday. Katzberg, surely he's feeling the pressure. And yesterday, that was just a qualification opportunity. Absolutely no pressure on his shoulders. Today, it's a different ball game for Ethan Katzberg. And that's a very good start. 18 metres, 18 himself in the silver medal position silver for his teammate Cameron Rogers in Eugene last year Katzberg looking to match the exploits of his female teammate and get him on the global podium now Pavel Fidek it's a good opening effort with his very first round throw the first throw of the whole competition and here is the defending champion opening round two Just drifting over to the right hand of the circle there. Pavel Fidek losing his way a tiny bit. So he stays in third place for the moment. Fidek and he hasn't been throwing all that well this season. I've touched on that already. He did build momentum into the Polish National Championships. That was his best performance of the year. 78, 10 centimetres. He's then gone further tonight with that 80 metres. Sometimes you need that reproducibility you can build up through the season. You've got that base here. Your average is very, very good. And then you're looking for icing on the cake, looking for something special tonight. Because Pavel Fidek, in all honesty, is looking to outperform himself. But hey, who'd bet against someone that's won this title five times? Not me. Gabriel Kerr of Chile into the circle for the second time. And his teammate Humberto Mancilla in the final last time round in Eugene. It's the turn of Gabriel Kerr to fly the flag for Chile and for South America here in this global final picked up a pair of silver medals in the South American Championships over the last couple of years. Won the Pan American Games in 2019. 75-99 with his first throw. Second looked uh, around about the same. There we go, 75-54. A little bit shorter for Curry. Stays in sixth place. Here comes the second Canadian, Adam Keenan. Down in ninth place. Okay, two finals at Commonwealth Games level. And this event is here, his first global final. Uh, good off Keenan, it looked like it might have been a slightly late release, but actually it was okay. Quick across the circle, straight down the middle of the sector. Not overjoyed with that, Adam Keenan. Ran around about the same as the 74-49. Might have been a tiny bit further. <laughs> 73 96 for Keenan. No, no improvement. Stays in ninth place. Rudy Winkler in next. He didn't look too frustrated with his opening round effort. He spun out, couldn't control the momentum and the effort, but he walked over to his coaching team with two thumbs up. So Rudy Winkler feeling okay. And at the moment, all he's got next to his name is a cross. And he 
but doesn't manage to get a valley throw here. He doesn't put himself well into the top eight. The pressure could well be on Rudy Winkler. Same for Michaela Cockham. It's coming up in a few moments. Oh, Winkler, that's going to be another foul. Hands on his head. And suddenly, a relaxed reaction saying it was OK, but it was a foul. Turns into two fouls and one final effort to put himself in the top eight. And Rudy Winkler here was so, he's so early in the throwing order. He's number four. Whatever he puts out in the third round is vulnerable as well if there's any other of the big names floundering behind him. Alexander Hendrickson and Asakis of Cockham, very, very capable of going over 80 metres. Rudy Vinkler quite rightly being reminded by an official that that there is an 800 metres about to go off outside of him. The Tathlon 800 reaching its conclusion. Ben Talaz, we saw the deep breath on the bench. Surely he's got to feel better than when he started, 80 metres, 82. But suddenly, when you realise you have got the opportunity that you've dreamed of all season, that you've trained so hard for, the chance to get a medal in front of a home crowd. And it's, a, it's bizarre, isn't it, to see someone come out in the first round and look so relaxed and so competent. And Halas there, all out of sorts, to me, almost limping out of the circle here. He touched his hamstring. Halas is so experienced, he will have been aware that he was off balance, and you try and correct that. You put a strain elsewhere in your body, whether it's your core, or your pelvis, or it was the hamstring that Halas grabbed initially. Giving nothing away now, though. So, Volchit Nowitzki, the world lead, wearing the green bib, but down in fourth place at the moment. Very, very capable of exceeding that mark of Ben Halas. So the best of 81-92 this season. And the officials just moving the net to position it absolutely correctly based on whether the athlete is a left-handed or a right-handed thrower to make sure it's absolutely safe. For a valid throw, you have to land the hammer in the sector, but the netting is there to sort of protect other athletes or other officials that are out there on the infield and the track in case your hammer goes a tiny bit wayward. So, Volchek Levitsky. Not pressure on yet, but if he could throw over 80 metres here, this would take a bit of pressure off the Olympic champion. Volchuk Nowitzki looks happy enough with that, and it has soared over 80 metres in this second round effort. How far over 80 the target? Events Halas 80 82 is going to be mighty close. Volchuk Nowitzki, he knows that was all right, almost a right smile on his face. He's saying, Hurry up, measure it, measure it, measure it. Is it more or less than 80 82? Could we have our third, or we will have our third man over 80 meters? Fantastic scenes here in the early stages of the men's hammer. And Nowitzki almost cautiously optimistic. There we go, 80 metres, 70 centimetres, puts him in second place, narrows the margin. Halas now just has a 12 centimetre advantage over the other athletes. Next in, Daniel Hart. 76-07 in his opening effort. in the eighth place finish last season at home championships. Perhaps a bit less pressure on the likes of Rudy Winkler and Daniel Hart here this time round. That looks like it could be a better throw, but Hart might extend on his 76 metres and 7 centimetres. Oh, I like that. Season's best for Daniel Hart. Great effort here from the American. 77-38. Season's best previously stood from the US Championships. We took second place behind Rudy Winkler. 77-24. But now 
77-38, courtesy of that second round effort. Next up, Mikkel Antisakis. Down in eighth place at the moment, he loves to move up a tiny bit. See, just drifting over towards the right-hand side of the circle, brush the netting with his hammer on the way out, so not perfection from Antisakis. Four metre throw for him, 74 62 in the first round. <laughs> 73 metres, four centimetres for Andrew Sackis. No improvement, he stays in eighth place. Ivan Henriksen next up in the circle. I haven't seen him put that ice vest on in between throws yet. Perhaps just using that for warm up. Henriksen from Norway. This will be a hotter condition, perhaps, than he's used to training in and living in. 33 degrees, the last temperature check we had just before the competition got underway. Henriksen, 75, 85, in his opening round effort. For me, there's just a, a tiny bit of a lack of total finishing off that throw good at the start, it's almost controlled through the circle and there's not quite the punch at the end. I expect from Henriksen, the Olympic and World Championship medalist, being on that podium for the last two years. Such fine magic margins at this level. Any disruptions in training, any missed time and it will show in your technique with Henriksen. Frustration here. Ooh. Just writing that mark off before I should. Uh, 77.06, sixth place for the reigning bronze medalist. It's good. The season's best is very encouraging at this stage. Kalo Kokkan. First, one foul in the first round. Really be desperate not to join Rudy Winkler on two. Winkler and Kokkan, if they can't get in this top eight, that could be drama in the opening three rounds here in the men's hammer. So we didn't have enough drama already with three men, four men over 80 metres. Kotkan ended up in the upper 70s here. Eighth place with Mikhail Andersakis, 74-62. So that should be enough to push the Ukrainian into the top eight. That will push Andersakis down into ninth. Just reaching the end here of round two of the men's hammer final. One more round left to figure out that top eight and who gets another three throws. Kokkan, 77-41. Solid. I mentioned this man has been undefeated this season. Eight wins from eight competitions, including European under-23 gold. But for the moment, it's fifth for Kokkan in Ukraine. Mexico's Diego Dariel. Half squat sets himself at the back of the circle. Looking for improvement on 72-39. It's going to be around about the same for Dalriel. Drifting right over towards the left hand section. And again, he's just grabbing that right elbow. to 184, no improvement for Dalriar. Ethan Katzberg will complete round two here in the men's hammer. 80 metres, 18 in the first round. A podium finish would have been an absolute dream for Ethan Katzberg. Not impossible, by that I mean a, a brilliant result for Katzberg when he got on the plane here to Budapest, but after that national record last night, yesterday morning, apologies, surely, surely, surely Ethan Katzberg realizes that gold is a possibility another throw perhaps in excess of 80 meters it's landed right on the tape of the grass there and Katzberg keeping his eye firmly on that hammer as he rotates 
muscle memory really in terms of where you are in the circle when you release the hammer. Keeping his body nice and steady and in line with his implement. Another throw over 80 metres, 80 metres and two centimetres for Katzberg. Both of his throws would have been PBs a couple of days ago. Except for that new national record, 81 metres, 18. Pavel Fidek down in fourth place at the moment. Actually hasn't lost a world championship since 2011. He would have known he was going to be under pressure here in Budapest. Opened his season very modestly. 72 metres, got himself up to 76, languished around the 74s for a few weeks, out to 78 at the Polish Championships and then 80 exactly with his opening round effort and that's uh, that's not quite right from Pavel Fidek as he opens round three. It's a foul in the second round for him but you look for that reproducibility of your technique of your performance and, and Fidek he, he's lacking that he's, he's got such a big ceiling he's got so much experience to draw on but in terms of this season he hasn't got that a steady big base if you like to rely on stays in fourth place. Mentioned Roberto Mancilla of Chile, who made the final in Eugene. He finished down in 10th place with 73.91. This stage in the competition, Kerr was surpassing the exploits of his teammate last time round, 75 metres, 99 and 8th place. If Rudy Winkler can produce what he's capable of, that could bump Gabriel Kerr out of this top eight. This is his final effort here to give himself a shot at three more throws. Gabriel Kerr, it's going to be a valid effort, he stays in the circle. Another throw in the mid-70s. Gabriel Kerr knows he's going to be a nervous wait here. He's throwing just second out of 12 men. Kerr's measurement, 74-24, so very consistent going to have to just sit there on the bench, wait and see if he gets the final three throws. Adam Keenan, 10th place at the moment. The target, the cut-off for final three throws. 75-99 of Kurt, that came in the first round. Keenan's got a season's best of 76-77, a lifetime best of 77 metres. He needs to produce that here if he wants to carry on in this World Championship qualification through to the final three throws. I don't think that mark's going to do it there for the Canadian. He's done very well to get himself into this final, but I do think that will be the end of the road, unfortunately, for Adam Keenan. And it looks so simple on paper. Go away, reproduce what you've done already this season, but cauldron the circus of the world championships it's super tough 72 58 for keenan in the end i reckon he'll stay out there watch the drama unfold soak up every last bit of this world championships rudy vinkler real pressure on this american shoulders here sixth place last year in eugene two fouls though Second one was a smaller foul than the first. Rudy Winkler perhaps just ruining the opportunity of done, to have done maybe a safety throw in the second round. Just play it, play it safe, try and get past that mark of Andrew Sakis. Oh, come on! Gabriel Kerr. Winkler like that, he's clapped it down the field. It's in the high 70s. Gabriel Kerr, the athlete, apologies, is in that eighth place at the moment. And Asakis has been pushed down tonight. Kurt, 75-99. That's what Winkler needs. I think that could be enough. And unfortunately for Gabriel Kirk, he's already thrown here in the third round. That will push him down and 
out of the top eight. What a relief for Rudy Winkler. Seventy-six oh four under a lot of pressure puts him in eighth place. Still got Andrasakis and Del Real to throw. And only two athletes left that could unseat Winkler in that perilous eighth position. Fence Hallas, a tremendous opening effort, and somehow looked even more nervous as he sat down on the bench and waited for a second effort. Clumsy foul into the netting. A 12 centimetre advantage at the moment. Ben Tallas gets a valid effort in. Is it going to be over 80 metres again? It is. That is big from Ben Tallas. Oh, he's trying to keep his cool here. There has got to be so much emotion boiling up in Hallas. 80 metres, 82 with his first effort. Have a look at the slow mo replay. Lovely. Oh, very, very close to the toe board there. If we were using the, the vertical plane we have in the horizontal jumps, I wonder if there'd be a toe out of line for Halas. But a personal best, he's extended his lead out to 81 metres and two centimetres, surpassing the mark that put him on the podium with a silver medal in the European Championships last year. Behind Volchuk Nowitzki, he was 80.92 last year, 81.02. And, oh, he's been keeping those emotions in, but he's seen that, and he is absolutely delighted. I mentioned it was a bronze in Doha, a fifth in Eugene. Ben Tallas in the gold medal position. We've just seen his teammate, Xenia Krishan, in the women's heptathlon, finished agonizingly in fourth place. Ben Tallas carrying all the hopes of the host nation here. Day two here in the evening. Volchit Nowitzki. Never, never, never write him off. Doesn't get the kind of low and high point on his rotation that some other athletes do. Quite a horizontal effort from Volchit Nowitzki here. He's almost seems tense, like he's trying to force it. He knows he needs a good good throw. To match the efforts of Hallas. Deficit now, 32 centimetres between the Olympic champion and the local man Hallas. He isn't going to trouble it here in the third round. Mm -hmm. 78 94 for Nowitzki. Back to the drawing board ever so slightly if he wants to complete his set. Titles already has the Olympic and the European ones to his name. Daniel Hart. Second round effort, 77-38, moving himself up to sixth place. We mentioned that of USA track and field operation hammer sweep. Won't be felt, won't have been felt yet by these athletes. That's something that will be in place next year. Ah, oh, hard just falling out of the throw there over to the left hand side. Need to stay balanced, keep all of that power and momentum through the implement, and hard just falling away. Into the top eight, though, I think, to give himself a further three throws. Not enough effort athletes left, even if those further down the, the order, the standings at the moment, through well, it's going to be enough to push Hart down into eighth. He's still there. Another three throws, 17-5, 66. Hart will sit down, regather his thoughts. And the Sackis, last chance to put himself in the top eight. 76 metres, four centimetres, the target for the Greek man. He's thrown 76, 42 this season in Alexandra in Greece in May. And recapture some of that form here. And the Sackis will buy himself another three efforts. That's good off Andersakis, he likes that. Is it going to be good enough? It's well into the 70s. Is it good enough to beat 76 and 4 centimetres from Rudy Winkler, though? I'm not sure 
It's going to be ever so close. Winkler has not got a chance to respond. He's already thrown here in the third round. And Asakis, he liked it, he cheered it on. An improvement, of course, on the 74 throw from the first round. 75 metres, 14, 49, it isn't enough, Mandasakis. And finish down in 10th place. Let's look at the implements the athletes are dealing with. 7.26 kilograms. Ivan Henriksen in seventh place at the moment. Oh, that was, again, it's just the, the finishing off of the effort from Henriksen. It's just not there. I don't know if it's a timing issue or a physical issue, but you really needs to be powerful. It's not the same explosive release that you perhaps get in the discus or the shot put. But nonetheless, you've still got to finish that effort off, carry the momentum through. And Henriksen almost like a ballerina keeping his eyes down the field, spotting his turn, opposed to the athletes that keep staring at the hammer. Eric Pinnockson just wandering out the front there, so that won't improve his placing. So, Nicola Kotkan, Diego Dalriel and Ethan Katzberg left, left to throw. Diego Dalriel, the only athlete left that can have an effect on the top eight. So, Henriksen is safe. He will go through for a final three throws. Rudy Winkler. I'm sure he's sweating because of the temperature, but he's also going to be sweating just in case Diego Dalriel can reproduce in his best form. Michaela Kotkan is safely into the final three rounds, 77-41 in the second round, but that won't be enough for the Ukrainian. He will be desperate to get on the podium. Kotkan roaring his implement down the field. It's short of 80 metres, but that's going to be a significant improvement on his 77-41. One left to catch Pavel Fidek, the athlete in fourth ahead of him. Fidek on 80 metres. Kotkan has been there or thereabouts for so many seasons. Fifth in Doha, fourth in Tokyo, seventh in Eugene. 79-34, an improvement in distance needs to be penetrating into the 80 metres here, something Michaela Kotkan hasn't done so far this season. 79-34, just below his season's best mark. Diego Dalriel, the last athlete that can reshuffle this top eight, his target, 76 metres, four centimetres, Rudy Finkler of the United States. 78 metres, 5 centimetres in Tucson, Arizona in May. Dawara trying to reproduce that form here. Looks good, it's only afterwards when you see the grimace from the Mexican in every one of these rounds. Could be something up with that elbow. It's the end of the road for Dawara, he won't make it into the top eight, so just three throws for the Mexican here. Two fifty-six. It is his furthest of the evening. Dariel finishes in 12th place. This does mean our top eight are settled, and Ethan Katzberg will conclude round three. And then have a slight pause for the reshuffle. These athletes will throw from eighth through to first in the final three rounds. Katzberg at the moment down in third place. Two throws in excess of 80 meters. That totally enamoured by that throw. It's landed just outside the sector. Didn't quite take out the microphones that are down there. And we had a go. Katzberg. It's got to be frustrating. You knew you know you threw 81 metres. It's a day and a half ago here. This very circle, this very arena. Just trying to force that out here. Now, Ben Pallas, he's 
effort in round three, was measured over 81 metres, has now been replaced with a cross with a foul throw. And the uh, throw was reassessed by the officials. Perhaps there was an infringement. Perhaps it was slightly over the board. Concludes the third round. And will be the reshuffled slight pause here as the athletes throw eight through first. Perhaps an opportunity to get an update that's gone on with Ben Hallas in that third round effort. We saw similar drama perhaps for uh, Simon Pettersson, who thought he'd thrown the discus further enough to make his final. Only for the officials to review his throw overnight and decide that it was, after all, a foul. So he was removed from that top 12 and will take no pace in the final. Fence Hallas, this isn't going to affect the overall standings here at the end of round four, but 32 centimetre lead will be reduced down to a 12, back down to a 12 centimetre lead. So it's significant for Hallas. I wonder if the men have spotted this. I wonder if Fence Hallas knows. I'd hope an official would have gone right up to him let him know that I'm afraid we re-looked at the footage of your third round effort and we felt that it was a small foul. Time for the cleaning team to come in. Don't want any, any dirt, any dust in that circle impeding it. So it appears that the video referee had a look back at Bence Hallas' third round effort and decided that it was, after all, a foul. So the jubilance there, the, hand, the handshakes his coaching team unfortunately nullified there by the video officials deciding that he had stepped over I'm sure it was that he stepped over the front of the circle like I said it won't make any difference on the standings at the moment here we are stand, starting round four of the men's hammer throw final in its Rudy Winkler of the United States a sixth place athlete from Eugene last year two fouls and then 76-04 as much as the pressure can reduce through a final, and surely Rudy Winkler has bought himself another three chances here, can be a bit more relaxed. I mean, that third round effort was a bit more controlled. Perhaps now Rudy Winkler can take that handbrake off and get back to his very, very best. He is an 80 metre thrower on his day. Around about the same there for Rudy Vinkler, 76, 77 or so. And Raw from Vinkler, measurement hasn't quite come up on the system yet. 76, 58. Uh, it's okay from Rudy Winkler, but who would expect? Well, he will expect more from himself. 76 metres yesterday in qualification. So, Ivan Henriksen, what is going on with the man from Norway? Tentative, careful throwing going on. And he's certainly carrying something physical that's impeding him from giving this his full effort. Olympic silver medalist. Ah, and it's a foul for Henriksen. He's going to have two throws left to try and find his groove. His best effort, 76 75 this season, has been surpassed with his second round effort, 77 06. And seventh place for Henriksen. Could that be all he's got to deliver here today in Budapest? It'd be a real shame for Norwegian three global. Podiums would have been a wonderful three years. Right. Daniel Hart up next. He's in sixth place. Really bettering his eighth from last year. He's also exceeded his season's best, so Daniel Hart's having a good day. He'd love to have a brilliant day, though. Oh, yeah! 
<laughs> oh, he's not even looking at it. He's saying, go, go, go. That's pretty close to the 80 meter mark here for Daniel Hart. He's going to extend his current best to 77.38. Not going to trouble his personal best. That's set at the US Championships last year. 80 meters, 18. Kayla Cockham, the athlete in fifth place at the moment, 79.34. Not sure Daniel Haar was that close to the 80 metre mark. They might stay in sixth place, but it does give him a season's best. So it is in excess of 77 metres again. 78.64 for Daniel Hart. Stays in sixth place, but that's a wonderful mark for the American. The man in fifth place at the moment, Kotkan, chasing the five-time world champion, Fidek, on 80 metres. The Ukrainian just a few centimetres below his season's best. He's in the best form he's been so far in this year. Can he trouble the 80 metre mark? Not with that effort. the naked eye across the National Athletics Arena here in Budapest. That looked like a dejected pop hand walking away from the circle. Underwhelmed, I think, there, the Ukrainian. Two, two throws left for him now. Fidek into the circle. Oh, he's going to need something special if he wants to keep his title defences on track. He's opening. Throws were good. Wonderful 80 metres in round one, then a foul, then 77 and 6 centimetres. He needs to find another 18 centimetres to get on the podium. Another 82 if he wants to go ahead of Benz Halas. Ooh, drifting way off to the right-hand side there, timing all off for Fidek. He's going to walk out the front. He does walk out the front, Fidek. A red flag being raised just to let the officials know. Don't bother measuring that. Not worth it. Two throws left for Fidek. He's trying to pull off one of the biggest records in athletics here. If he can get six world titles, he'd match the mark of Sergei, Sergei Bubka in Russian pole vault. And that's the most titles anyone has ever won at the World Championships in a single event. Shelly Ann Fraser Price in the women's 100 has got a chance to do that as well. She's on five titles, hunting down her sixth women's 100 metres semi final and final take place, takes place tomorrow night here in Budapest. So, round to Katzberg, Canadian in a medal position at the moment. Ah, bang on the 80 metre mark. He's just not reproducing that 81 from yesterday yet. Ethan Katzberg will not rest on his laurels here when you've got Pavel Fidek behind you on a scorecard. That's not where you want him. It's going to be a threat as we move through to round four and round five. Ethan Katzberg is turning, turning his nose up ever so slightly. 79-82 in the fourth round. I wonder if Volchik Nowitzki, or how quickly Volchik Nowitzki was aware that Ben Hallett's third round throw of 81 metres was disallowed. The margin between the athletes in silver and gold at the moment back down to 12 centimetres. And that's pretty nice, that's OK. Volchik Nowitzki, I'm sure, wouldn't have been too intimidated by the 81 metre throw anyway. He's done 81.92 this season. Still some 74 centimetres further than anyone else, despite Ethan Katzberg's efforts last night. That's over 80 metres again for Volchit Nowitzki. I don't think that looks as big as Ben Tallis' effort of 80-82. Certainly not the same as the 81 metre throw that's been disallowed. I don't think that's enough from Nowitzki. We'll have to wait and see. Let's see if the officials measure it. Mighty close, though. He's only... Trying to find another 12 centimetres at this stage. Whoa, one centimetre. 
Volchik Nowitzki moves into the gold medal position. Halas, oh, the roller coaster. This Hungarian has been on here to hold his nerve through the season, to know that this was the opportunity he was going for. This is his effort in the third round. He was measured at 81 metres, just over 81 metres, but you can see the toe there on the left foot did just drag over the front of the circle. We caught that to the naked eye in round three, perhaps deciding it wasn't such a big deal they were going to allow it, but Halas goes from having a 32 centimetre lead to a one centimetre deficit. That looks around about the same. Another throw in excess of 80 metres. I think that's going to be in the 870s, in the 880s. Halas managing to keep his composure. Physical effort in athletics is so obvious. You can wear that on your heart and sleeve. But the emotional roller coaster that Halas has been on so far here this evening in front of a home crowd is quite something as well. And to bottle that all up, save the outpouring to when you're in the circle, staying calm on the bench alongside your competitors and then walking into the circle with composure and the ability to unleash something. Halas, 80 metres, 59. Very, very good, but not the one centimetre he needed to get ahead of the Olympic champion, Nowitzki. That concludes round four. Halas will stay last in the throwing order for round five. So that means that it's Rudy Winkler, the eighth place athlete, still throwing first in round five. 76 metres, four centimetres in the third round. He needs to find a metre or so to put himself one place up. That's Ivan Henriksen. Winkler with uh, what I think you could call a dynamic start here. You can see he sets himself at the back of the circle here. Apologies, more static from Winkler. I'm not thinking of Daniel Hart. Dynamic. There goes Winkler. Oh, he says, oh yeah, as he releases the hammer, but... I don't think that's going to improve on his 76 and 4 centimetres. There's something amiss here between what Winkler's feeling when he's throwing and quite what's happening when the hammer lands. He's been very positive about the way he's felt, particularly that very first foul. He indicated to his coaching team it's all right, but Winkler here... Perhaps it's just the uh, willing it down the field. I think he must have walked out the front as we were focusing on the landing point. Nope, he has been measured 75 metres. That won't change the, the order. Henriksen and the Norwegian up next. Already surpassed the season's best of 76 75. That came in the Celestia Diamond League. Finished in third place there. And Volchik Nowitzki and Rudy Winkler. Better from Henriksen, more fluent. I can't quite see where that landed. There it is. 77 metres. I, I think that could be round about the same for Henriksen. Daniel Hart ahead of him on 78, 64. So I don't think Henriksen's going to improve his overall placing here, but he could have chipped away at the season's best. And 76 81, no improvement. Stays in seventh place, which takes us round to Daniel Hart, the second American. He's just come off his best throw so far 78 64, miles better than his 77 38. He's on the move, Hart. Ah, just brushed the side of the netting there, it's not a good indication. down around about 75 meters or so for Daniel Hart this is what happens in these field events you start off thinking six throws is an awful lot they've got a long time here to find their groove to hit their mark but suddenly it's just one effort left for Rudy Winkler Ivan Henriksen Daniel Hart and two for the rest of this top eight the 
luxury of saying, just relax, feel your way into this, make some small, subtle technical adjustments. Don't put yourself under pressure to going, yikes, this is it. And Pilot Kokan will know that very well. The Ukrainian super experienced. He hasn't looked delighted with his performances here. 79-34 is best in the third round. Seventh place last year in Eugene. And he has been higher at fourth in Tokyo. Kona Kokan has quite justifiably spent the winter dreaming of a podium finish here in Budapest. That's not going to do his chances any harm at all. Pavel Fidek on 80 metres exactly. That looks like it's just underneath 80 metres for Kokan. It's going to be an improvement perhaps on his 79.34, but. Oh, he just needs more. Could be a season's best for Kokan. Surpassing the mark he set in Sakesta Heva in July. Gulai Istvan meeting, the World Athletics Continental Tour gold level meeting was every bit as good as a Diamond League. Fantastic talent on show there. It is a season's best for Kokan. 79 59, he jogs over in between the. Uh, 10,000 metre runners that are whizzing round around the track to have a chat to his coaching team. Next stop, Pavel Fidek. Two efforts left for him to try and capture his sixth world title. Fidek, such a character of our sport. And he just clipped the ground. And you can see him there gesticulating and saying, why, why, why would you slow my hammer down here? I've only got two efforts left at the World Championships. Walks out the front, it's a foul for Pavel Fidek. Wonder, wonder, wonder if he got carried away. That 80 metre first throw, and they're taking the pressure off him. Let's have a look here, there you can see the hammer just on its final rotation, clipping the edge of the metal trim here on the circle. And <laughs> Fidek giving circle a piece of his mind and it's speak Polish I'm not sure what he said to it it's not happy okay Ethan Katzberg bronze medal at the moment a fantastic stepping stone in his career and that's out over 80 meters that is a lot over 80 meters as has Ethan Katzberg delivered another 81 meter throw here just when it counts Chasing the mark of Volchit Nowitzki, that, that now at 80 83. I think that could be enough. Ethan Katzberg has managed to say pretty cool, pretty calm. And there's a smile from Ethan Katzberg. It's another national record. It's like buses. Canada have been waiting for a national record for 15 years in this event. And Ethan Katzberg, the 21 year old, delivers two in two days. 81 meters 25 phew yikes congratulations ethan katzberg Novitsky, pressure on and to produce that 81 meter throw at this stage in the competition there's not that much time for volchit Novitsky to gather his thoughts and well ben Tallas as well how much will he be ruining the uh, disallowed 81 meter throw he's down in third place now all of a sudden Novitsky staring that hammer down it's another throw in excess of 80 meters I don't think it looks as far as Ethan Katzberg's effort Novitsky is peppering that 81 meter mark he's just below it Volchit Novitsky is always eyeballing that scoreboard desperate to know what the mark is this is the title he's missing from his locker. He's already the Olympic champion. He's already the European champion. He wants to be the world champion. It's 81 meters and two centimeters. Good, but not good enough. Now, Ben Tallas, the resolve this man has got to have is tremendous. He, he went out tremendously well in the first round. 80 82 to put the pressure on the field. Then a foul. Then a measure, uh, throw that was measured over 81 metres and then disallowed. Responded really well with an 80 metres, 59 in the fourth round, but to go from gold position down to bronze for Halaz will be frustrating. His home crowd right behind him, he stays in the circle, he likes it. He's still in the air, it's on the 
20 meter mark, it's not enough. It's another good, good throw for Ben Tallas though. Oh, this would be a first medal for Hungary here if Halas can keep himself in third place, but he's shown flashes of brilliance here this evening in Budapest. A bronze would be fine, but we've been in the gold medal position for a couple of rounds. Bronze could feel frustrating for Halas. 79-94. That concludes round five. One throw left for these eight men. That is it. Eight efforts left to determine who will be the world champion here at the 2023 edition of the World Championships. The officials just double-checking everything. They're going to reshuffle the throwing order. Rudy Winkler still down in eighth place. I feel like Rudy Winkler has got more in the tank here. A little bit frustrated. Let's see if Rudy Winkler can finish off with a bang here. Eighth place at the moment, he was sixth in Eugene. He was thrown in excess of 80 metres last year. Ah, yikes. Winkler just a little bit off with his timing here this evening finish down in eighth place it's another global final for the american though and a top eight finish athletes cherish these top eight finishes it puts you right on par with all the other disciplines yeah, there's only eight lanes available in our track events so making a final perhaps in a field event or in a longer track event is, is sometimes viewed as a bit easier because there's 12 spots if you can finish in eighth place no 100 meter runner can turn around to you and say ah oh, you weren't really a finalist Winkler should be very proud of his eighth place finish here. Ivan Henriksen up next. It's a bronze medal last time round for Henriksen, and unfortunately, we haven't seen the form this season from Ivan Henriksen. And he's in seventh place at the moment. He's managed to throw himself the season's best. And moving in the right direction in terms of the 2023 season and you do want to produce your very best performance of the year here on the global stage but Henriksen the national record holder from Norway through 81-58 to take the silver medal in Tokyo through 80-87 to take the bronze medal in Eugene and at the moment just 77 meters and six centimeters is best had a bit more commitment behind it from Henriksen, way, way, way over to the left-hand side of the sector here, though it's out, it's a foul throw for Henriksen, and it did seem to me like there's something going on physically for Henriksen that means he can't quite put all his power through the hammer at the end of the throw, this was a more committed effort for the Norwegian, he clearly thought he would give it absolutely everything here in the last round, and that just perhaps a slightly later release, too much power off towards the left-hand side. And Henriksen will leave this competition with seventh place, but sometimes you learn a lot about yourself trying to get the best out of your body when you're not 100%. And Ivan Henriksen has still come to the competition environment, the championship environment, and delivered his best throw of the year. As has Daniel Hart, he is 78-64 in the fourth oh. round, it's the furthest he's thrown this year getting behind and giving him the rhythmic clapping. Quite a gap between Hart and Sick and Cockham. And uh, Hart just falling out of the throw there. Doesn't even watch it as it goes down the field, walks straight out the front of the circle. Daniel Hart finished the competition in sixth place. Hart and Winkler, the two Americans, swapping their positions from Eugene. No reshuffle in this top eight order so far. Just five athletes left to throw in the final. Could we see any drama in this sixth and final round? Michaela Cockhan will certainly hope to produce something phenomenal here. He is 41 centimetres behind Pavel Fidek. That's fourth place. Michaela Cockhan will want more than that. He was fourth at the Olympics. He'll be desperate to get his first trip onto a global podium. Is he too desperate? Uh, that was a lot of effort that went into that throw. He didn't look 
that smooth. And it's below 80 metres for Michaela Kokan. His best throw, 79-59, has been a season's best. It's going to be around about the same for Michaela Kokan. Has been a good season, though I mentioned he was undefeated so far. Eight wins, that included the European Under-23 title in Espoo. Finland a few weeks ago, 79-52, very consistent from Kotkan, but he stays down in fifth place, so there's just one man left to reshuffle the podium. I haven't decided the order of that podium, but this man, Pavel Fidek, has been on every World Championship podium since 2011. Are we looking at the end of an era of dominance? Pavel Fidek with one effort left to make it six world titles. If we're honest, there's not been that form shown here. It was a good opening effort, but three fouls out of the next four throws. Pavel Fidek is going to need something absolutely phenomenal here. And I'm not sure that was it. It looked a little bit off balance. It's below the 80 metres. That is the end of Pavel Fidek's streak at the top. It's been absolutely phenomenal. 2011, 13, 15. Apologies, I'm uh, getting my years muddled up. 11 was when he didn't win, so 13, 15, 17, 19, 22 all the way, the way of Pavel Fidek of Poland. But this time, it's going to be just fourth place. Quick moment, share my favourite Fidek story ever. It's when he paid for his taxi after his celebratory night out in Beijing with his gold medal. He didn't have any money left. Uh, fortunately, the taxi driver was very nice. He did return the gold medal to the Polish team and Pavel Fidek. But no metal wear for Fidek this time round. Now, Ben Salas, he knows he's got a medal, picked up at least a bronze here in the front, in front of the home crowd. That is fantastic. But can Ben Salas do a tiny bit more? There's bronze in Doha, fifth in Eugene, and at least bronze here in Budapest. Ben Salas searching for 20 more centimetres to get himself ahead of Volchit Nowitzki. Oh, he's fallen out the front, it's a foul for Halas. We haven't seen the red flag here in the stadium, but they've seen the hammer fall down between the four 80 metres, and they'll know that's the very best they're going to get from Halas. And still a brilliant bronze medal for the Hungarian, the first medal for the host nation. celebrate that all night long I'm sure Halas might rue what else there was in the locker here but he's up against some high quality athletes and Volchit Nowitzki is the Olympic champion Ethan Katzberg perhaps a surprise package here of the world championships in the gold medal position as well but Halas it could have been a lot worse and he does get another trip up to the podium now Volchit Nowitzki I mentioned a reigning Olympic champion reigning European champion Silver medal in Eugene last year. Had to give way to Pavel Fidek this year at the moment in second place. Ethan Katzberg, the Canadian in gold. Volchit Nowitzki with one last effort here. It's just over 80 metres. The graphic on our screen firmly suggests that's not further enough. And to the naked eye as I look out across the infield here at the National Athletics Arena, it isn't. It's going to be silver for Nowitzki. His quest to become world champion is going to have to be delayed to Tokyo 2025. Paris Olympics next year. If Nowitzki have his work cut out to defend that title, this was a tremendous opportunity for him to hold all three titles available to him, and it has slipped away. 81 metres and two centimetres. And that makes Ethan Katzberg of Canada at the age of 21. The new world champion. What is going through his mind? It's been a good series from Katzberg to go out to another national record with his fifth round effort, 81-25. It's been a huge couple of days for Katzberg, totally rewriting his lifetime best. Has he got any composure left? What can he do here in the final round? He's got his arms aloft, he's cheering it on. It's another throw in excess of 80 metres. Can he possibly? have thrown his third national record of the World Championships, 81-25 in the fifth round. <laughs> Ethan Katzberg having the night of his life after the morning of his life yesterday morning. It's going to make big, big headlines for Canada. 
They love their track and field over in Canada. And Ethan Katzberg really? <laughs> has spoiled the European party. I mentioned there was a top five in Eugene, entirely composed of the European nations. And Ethan Katzberg putting North America back on the map. Bragging rights can't quite go the way of the North American women. And they can't stay with Cameron Rogers, the silver medalist from Canada, last time round in Eugene, because Canada now have a world champion in the form of Ivan Herrickson. Fence Hallas wrapped with the uh, Hungarian flag there, celebrating his bronze medal. Yes, yes, it's awesome. Yeah. And Ethan Katzberg, he's done what they do in Wimbledon. He's climbed all the way into the stand to get right alongside his coach there. And it's Dylan Armstrong, shot putter from Canada. Took a bronze medal in the 2008 Olympics, silver at the 2011 and 2013 World Championships. So to have someone like Dylan Armstrong <laughs> in your team is phenomenal. That's a wonderful moment for Dylan Armstrong and Ethan Katzberg. So proud of you, buddy. Yeah, right here, close. <laughs> so proud of you, buddy. That is uh, what you get from your coach when you win a world title. Just at 21 years, he. Oh, Ethan Katzberg, I don't have the stats in front of me, but I'd be very surprised if there's a younger winner of a gold medal. Wojciech Nowitzki taking congratulations from the Polish support staff there. Ben Salaz has got all the photographers around him, as you'd expect for the local man. He uh, is bowing, taking the applause from the crowd. And we have repeated the instant medal ceremonies that we had in Eugene. The athletes being given their medals straight away. And we've got that moment in front of the crowd, in front of the cameras. They will have an official ceremony here as well in Budapest. That's taking place just outside of the arena. They've got a festival atmosphere with a stage and a band and food vans and deck chairs and the lot. So the medal ceremony for these men might take place tomorrow. It might take place after this session, not quite sure. Nowitzki saying this was a good competition. It seems very level-headed, Volchit Nowitzki. He'll know there was an opportunity here to take the gold medal as world-leading mark, 81-72, going back at the Oslo Diamond League in June. It was further than 81-11 at Ethan Katzberg. But also Volchit Nowitzki has been around for long enough to know he cannot take the world leading mark and assume that that's going to convert to a gold medal and instead it's another trip to the podium for the Polish athlete <laughs> Ethan Katzberg getting this moment all on his own National record yesterday of 81 18 and raising the mark. James Stacey, who's 15 years old, adding nearly two meters to that mark and then adding another seven centimeters today and taking a gold medal for Canada. meter personal best for Ethan Katzberg last year when he took the silver medal in the Commonwealth Games at just the age of 20. Katzberg just going from strength to strength. How much more has he got in his locker? Came into this competition ranked number four in the world with a personal best of 78-73. And he has obliterated that. Here's the final results confirmed for the men's hammer throw. A national record, a gold medal for the 21-year-old Ethan Katzberg from Canada, 81-25. And the names behind him have got massive accolades on their CVs. Volchit Nowitzki is the Olympic champion. He came into the event as the world lead, but he's had to settle for another silver, matching his result from Eugene last year. 81 metres and 2 centimetres for the Polish athlete. And it's a brilliant first medal for the host nation. Bence Halas in third place with the best throw of 80 metres, 80 metres 72. And there is the full result down to 11th and 12th as well. So thank you very much for joining us here 
on a dedicated stream for the men's hammer throw. If you like your field events, there are dedicated streams for all of the field finals. But we do hope this evening has been enjoyable for you. My name is Hannah England. It's been a delight to call the men's hammer throw final. It has certainly lived up to expectations. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.